Hey, it's Joe Glides from The Automator. And someone that took my Udemy course, uh, they were having problems using the edit swap tool to swap out the default auto hotkey editor. And it's not my tool um, that's the problem. It's, it's just for whatever reason, the registry that they're updating it, it's not taking effect. And uh, one of the solutions which I wanted to mention to him was uh, there's this tool, which the URL, it's a pretty link, which takes you to it. It's from Nursoft, I think is the name of the company, which I'll show you the web page here in a minute because uh, it's a little interesting where you find it. But let me get to the uh, tool itself here. So when you launch it, this file types manager, um, it's pretty cool in the sense you can see different extensions. And if we go and find the .ahk extension, now this is what, you know, it's easy to go into the Explorer and find how to, you know, associate a file with AutoHockey, but that's just for the executable, right? What we need to be able to do is look at this, though, see these different um, actions is the way I think of them, right? There's the compile, compile with the GUI, edit, which you can see here, it even has my studio icon, and here's the path. There's open and run as. So what you'd want to do is come in here and um, you can double click and I can edit this. So here you'd want to swap out this with the other editor. Make sure you leave the space double quote percent one double quote, because that'll take any parameter, any file that it's editing and it'll, it'll put the path to it, right? That's how it, it programmatically does that. So um, I was think I don't know if this is going to fix his problems. I hope it am. But even if it doesn't, this is a really cool free tool that is available that you can download and then use. Um, so if we go, actually, I see right here, let's go to their website. Um, and you go to file, let's see. Program tool, system tools. Let's try that. Um, file types man. So this is what I, this is their website. It shows you talks about it, right? But what you have to do is you have to scroll like all the way down to get the download. So it's down here is where you'll get the downloads. Um, I guess I could have made... Oh, look at that. That's actually a direct. Well, I'd rather you go here, read it, make sure you're happy with all the stuff, and then download it. But just remember, come down to the bottom here to get the executable. Um, and I hope hope you check it out. I hope it helps. It's a, it's a cool tool where sometimes you want to, let's go back to it. I want to change, like, uh, let's say for a CSV, what, you know, what gets opened. Um, it, hopefully it's site. Yeah, it is site. But if that is just open, right? Because it's not a program that can be quote unquote executed, right? But if you had other ones that were like that, um, it's good to, to see. I got SBSS. I don't even know what these are for SBSS. A cookie? Yeah, apparently I have that. But you can assign them, you know, any of these extensions, you can assign to whatever program you want. And that way it just gives a little more control. And it's just a little, gives you a little more information, right? About the programs. There's the DLL. Like, uh, yeah, interesting. So I have this DLL viewer. Um, look, hey, there's my path to it. Yay. Uh, but you get the idea. Uh, I hope that helps. Oh, here we go. Look at that. Look at all those different things you can do with a Word file. Oh, you can change the print to. That's interesting. So you get the idea, right? It's pretty cool that there's not just one thing. And, and of course, you could go into your edit, uh, your registry and edit it. However, that makes me nervous, right? I would rather use a GUI that someone else has built that when it says when I come in here, I'm going to just change this one thing and I don't have to worry that like, hey, I messed something else up. Oh, select from running program. That's cool. So, so I can take this and just select something. That's awesome. But yeah, anyway, I hope you enjoy the tool. Thank you. Uh, cheers.